in this video I'm going to show you the process of titration for determination of concentration of white distilled vinegar so my source of distilled vinegar is this one I think you can read the label it's four monks uh, white distilled vinegar and the container indicates that uh, get closer you can see that they have listed the acidity uh, to 5% so the concentration is roughly 5% but we're going to determine the concentration more exactly and um, I've already poured in some of this vinegar in my beaker and we're going to work with that and because I'm going to have us determine the percentage by mass we do need to have a density value for this vinegar it's probably close to density of water, but we'll determine it more exactly. So I have a 20 milliliter pipette. I'm going to use that. And I already zeroed the mass of a beaker on my scale. It's reading zero. So I'm going to transfer 20 milliliter of this vinegar into that beaker. And first we need to get the density. And then we're going to work with this volume because we have to go through a dilution process uh, to make sure that the titration is still within 20 or so milliliter of volume because that's the space that I have. So I do have to dilute this vinegar down and then we can use the dilution factor or volume initial and final volume and figure out the original molarity and percentage of my solution. So we'll figure all of that out later. So I'm going to transfer the 20 milliliter into this little beaker that was dry, clean and dry, and its mass was zeroed out. So let's go ahead and write that down. So please record in your lab notebooks for the volume 20 milliliter of this vinegar from this particular brand maybe every brand is a little different but this is the brand that I have and we'll figure out the concentration okay so record this mass this is the mass of 20 milliliter it's 20.092 grams So we have this mass now. We're going to uh, take this mass or the 20 milliliter and we're going to transfer it to a clean and not necessarily dry because I have, uh, I'm going to be adding water, a 100 ml volumetric flask. Because as I told you, we need to dilute the vinegar down before our titration to have a reasonable volume of the sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to transfer this to my flask. It's a quantitative process, so I want to make sure I get all of the vinegar out. Usually three rinses will be good enough. Okay, and now I'm going to fill this flask with deionized water to the mark. So I'll do it a little quicker using my DI water tap. So now <clears throat> I'm going to get my eye level with the marking of the flask and very gently, gradually add my DI water to where the meniscus is in line. The bottom of meniscus just touches the line. Okay, now I got that. So now I'm going to use a piece of parafilm Oops. and cover up the flask. So, sorry, not my hands. So I stretch the parafilm over the flask and I mix this like a few times up and down. And this will mix my vinegar with the water. So it's diluted to a known 
concentration because I took 20.00 so the precision of the volume is actually 20.00 milliliter I'm using a pipette with good precision and the flask is 100.0 milliliter volume so my my volumes are all in four sig fig so please record that 20 ml of vinegar diluted to 100.0 milliliter volume it's actually 20.00 ml of vinegar diluted to 100.0 milliliter so there it is and now I'm going to use this diluted vinegar and titrate that with my standardized sodium hydroxide and determine the concentration in molarity of this vinegar solution. So we have uh, several titrations that we should normally do to, to get good precision for our work. So I'll show you those videos.